Uh, we're back in MR Trailers with Bob, and uh, he's got a concession truck he wants to show us. And uh, let's get right to it. Hey, folks, glad to see you come back, take another look at us here. Uh, what we got here today is we've got a concession truck, and it's a good sized truck. This has got a 17 foot box on it. Uh, this truck started out as one of the old truth trucks where it had to roll up doors and it said, Don't smoke no more. The fellow was able to buy it from that company and we eliminated all of the roll-up doors and rebuilt the walls and set it all up for, uh, for his needs in the concession business. He, he presently owns a restaurant in Panama City and uh, this will be a big help to take uh, his restaurant to the beach. His restaurant now is in Route 1, a little, way, a little off from the beach, so this is what we designed it for. And if you want to, what we think we'll do, I think we'll set up here first and we'll fire the generator up, throw the lights on, and we'll come in and take a look at it. And I don't know if you can see from there, Richard, but this is uh, this is your electrical panel in this truck. This truck has a 100 amp service panel to it with all the breakers for the whole truck. It's set up on a split service, either generator or else shore power or a pole power, whatever you can hook up to. Uh, we have the Ansel systems up front here out of the way of the kitchen. So the, uh, the fire protection system is all up here behind the seat out of the way. Your generator startup is right here on the wall, so we're going to click that right now and... And now we have our generator running. We're going to go ahead and turn on the breaker. in our truck and we'll take a look around. Uh, this machine is set up with an 11 foot hood system. It's got a two burner gas top stove. It has two 24 inch griddles, one open gr uh, griddle for flame, flame griddle, and one grill top. These, these two grills were supplied by the owner. Uh, the, appliances, the other appliances are all purchased new. Beside it, we have two 40-pound fryers, both double basket fryers, and uh, they are all set up to be used and ready to go here. All the gas is run, we run this, all the appliances on propane. The gas is piped under the truck, through the frame, and to the rear where we have two 100-pound gas tanks for uh, the usage of these grills that'll last them a good week or two, depending on its use. And we step on back in the trailer. I mean, we're going to stay on this side for now. And we have a worktop table here, 36 inches next to the next to the fryers for tabletop use. Then we get into a sandwich. We have a 30-inch a, a sandwich press prep table with refrigeration. So this is hold all the condiments or meats or whatever you want to put in. I'm sure you know more about this than I do. I just know how to build them. Uh, we have an area here. The owner is going to supply a refrigerator at this point standing in this corner and when he reaches uh, Panama they'll be putting that in. Starting at the front again, this, this, this area right here in the front is going to be used as a freezer will set here. The plug-in for it's on the wall and the freezer will set here. And then we have the countertop here that gives them their, their hand sink which is required by the building department, the health department. Then you have a three bay sink. Your cabinetry is all underneath. Again, all of your tanks, pumps, hot water heater, and everything is in and under the sink. And you still have a lot of storage under here on, on all the sides. And uh, it's, the cabinets all are lockable. like They won't come open during the trip. You have the storage all through the bottom here. And then you steps back in to your 18-inch counter so that you can utilize your, your serving. And then you, you can open individual windows and serve from three different stations. You can either serve from the first window, the second window, or the third, based on the amount of people you have, based on what you can serve in one or pay in one and serve in the other, however you want to do it. We also put the cabinets underneath the serving counter, so we have to just give you all the storage. We any uh, time we find a space that we can use, we try to give a storage area or uh, whatever we can do to, to fit the needs of the customer. And storage is always a good thing, so we had an area from the hood over top of sandwich prep, so we thought we'd go ahead and put the cabinetry all across the top. 
You notice this whole truck is done with aluminum interior panels and the whole cooking area is solid stainless steel. Makes a nice setup. The cabinetry you're looking at, we build in our we build in shop and we build them all to size of whatever we need. And uh, this is a, this makes quite a truck. This is a big truck, a lot of room, a lot of lighting, overhead AC, and uh, this thing has foam insulation, uh, two and a half inches in all the walls and ceiling. And uh, it should be a uh, we're kind of waiting. The customers coming to pick it up today, so we hope he's as uh, thrilled with it as we are. And uh, we sure like to put you in one. We'll build them any size. This is a big one, but we'll also build them down to where they're a snow cone truck, whatever you'd like to have. There's a lot of different pricing in this, and uh, it's an availability of trucks, and we can help you find them. We'll, we'll draw you the floor plans, and hopefully we can, uh, hopefully you'll come to m and and take a look at what we got, or give us a call, and we'll tell you what's in it at the time, because it comes in and it moves out. Well, folks, thanks for joining us. See you next time. Call me Alfresco. There you go.